Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is part 65 of Tafsir al-Sam. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. La ikraha fi'l-deen. Qad tabayyana al-rushdu min al-ghay. Faman yakfur bil-taghuti wa yu'min billahi faqad istamsaka bil-urwati al-wuthqa. Lan fisama laha. Wallahu sami'un alim. الله ولي الذين آمنوا يخرجهم من الظلمات إلى النور والذين كفروا أولياؤهم الطاغوت والذين كفروا أولياؤهم الطاغوت يخرجونهم من النور إلى الظلمات أولئك أصحاب let there be no compulsion in religion. Truth stands out clear from error. Whoever rejects Tawood and believes in Allah has grasped the most trustworthy handhold that never breaks. And Allah is all hearing, all knowing. Taghut is explained as false gods, devils, soothsayers, leaders of misguidance, anyone and anything that diverts people from the worship of Allah. Allah is the protector of those who believe. From the depths of darkness, he will lead them forth into light. As for those who disbelieve, their protectors are Tahu. From light, they will lead them forth into the depth of darkness. They will be inhabitants of the fire to abide therein forever. Here Allah Azza wa tells us that there should be no compulsion in religion because there is no need to compel anyone to believe in it. Compulsion can only be in matters that are ambiguous and unclear, for which there is no proof or evidence, or for matters, compulsion can only be in matters that are ambiguous and unclear, for which there is no proof or evidence, or for matters to which people have a natural aversion. As for this true religion and straight path, it is very clear to those who are possessed of reason and is based on clear evidence. It is very clear to those who are possessed of reason that it is based on clear evidence. Truth stands out clear from error. So if one who is fortunate looks at it briefly, he will choose it. Whereas the one who has ulterior motives bad intentions and evil inclinations will see the truth yet he will prefer falsehood he will prefer falsehood over it he will see what is beautiful but will choose that which is ugly allah has no need to compel such a person to follow this religion because there is no benefit in doing so the faith of one who is forced to believe is not valid. However, this verse does not indicate that we should give up fighting the disbelievers who are in a state of war with Islam. Rather, it indicates that the beautiful nature of this religion would make any fair-minded person feel inclined towards it. As for the issue of fighting or not fighting, that is not the issue here. Rather, the obligation of fighting is learned from other texts. What we learn from this verse is that jizya may be accepted from people other than the people of the book, as is the view of many scholars. Whoever rejects tabu and gives up worshipping anything other than Allah and obeying the shaitan and believes in Allah in a complete sense that leads to worshipping and obeying his Lord has grasped the most 
trustworthy handhold. فقد استمسك بالعروة الوثقة. Has grasped the most trustworthy handhold. That is the true religion. The foundations of the pillars of which are well established. The one who adheres to it will be sure of what he is doing because he is adhering to the most trustworthy handhold. That never breaks. As for the one who does the opposite, he has disbelieved in Allah and has believed in Taghut, thus letting go of this trustworthy handhold in which is protection and salvation. And he has adhered to every falsehood that will lead him to hell. Allah is Ali, and Allah is all hearing, all knowing. And he will requite each according to his deeds, good or bad. That is the ultimate fate of the one who grasps the most trustworthy handhold and the one who does not. Then Allah mentions the means of attaining that. Allah is the protector of those who believe. This is because of their sincerity towards their Lord, as they have taken him as a friend and they do not seek any alternative to him or associate anyone with him. They have chosen him as the beloved and protector and they have taken his close friends as their friends and his enemies as their enemies. Thus he protects them by his grace and bestows blessings upon them by his kindness. He brings them forth from the darkness of disbelief, sin and ignorance to the light of faith, obedience and knowledge. Their reward for that is that he grants them safety from the darkness of the grave, the gathering and the resurrection and blesses them with eternal bliss, comfort, ease and happiness. As for those who disbelieve, their protectors are Taghut. They have taken the shaitan and his troops as friends instead of Allah. They have taken shaitan as a friend instead of their Lord. So Allah has given the shaitan and his troops power over them as a punishment to them. Thus, they incited them to commit sins and evil actions, and they brought them forth from the light of faith, knowledge, and obedience to the darkness of disbelief, ignorance, and sin. Their punishment for that was to be deprived of good things and to miss out on delights, joys, and pleasures. They will be with the shaitan and his friends suffering regret in the hereafter. Hence Allah Azza wa Jal says, They will be inhabitants of the fire to abide therein forever. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.